Mais dois-je vraiment le faire Vous avez dit que je n'aurai pas à retourner avant le début de l'année prochaine. Pourquoi ce changement se donne Mon père, que lui est il rive Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Je vois. Mais vous savez que j'ai mon fiancé ici. Je ne peux pas l'inquiéter soudainement. Vous savez que je ne peux pas lui dire brusquement que nous allons en France. Alors là, il sait tout tombé et venez avec moi. Ne sais pas. <rire> Oui, je sais, je sais que je peux le faire, mais c'est tellement de travail, je dois déjà m'occuper de l'association. Tu sais quoi, très bien. J'essaierai de la manière, nous serons de retour le lendemain au plus tard. À bientôt. Comment vais-je lui expliquer cela <laughs> hey, good morning, sleepyhead. I apologize for waking you up so late. It's just that uh, there's been a slight emergency. Oh, oh, y yes, every everything is fine with me. I'm okay. It's just that uh, there is, there has been a family emergency back in France, so. That, unfortunately, means I have to return back to my state in Bordeaux. Uh, and I also told my butler that you would be returning with me back to France. Are you not upset with me? Do you not have plans for today? Uh, family here that you have to say goodbye to, friends, maybe. <laughs> Not saying you don't have any friends, but you know what I mean. You probably have plans. No, no, no. We're not staying there forever, if you don't wish. Only for a month at least. <clears throat> or <laughs> an absolute year at most. But that's only at most, and it's... Only gonna be in a rare situation. <laughs> well, yes, then don't worry about your job and your school or anything like that. Uh, I can take that. I uh, English. <laughs> I can take care of that. Don't don't worry. I I have it all under control. So. If you're willing, then I guess I was overreacting. All right, then, let's start packing. Hmm, that's weird. Monsieur Chouché is supposed to greet us at the entrance. Where is he? Hmm, interesting. Monsieur Chouché, je suis de retour. Sushi, Monsieur Sushi, oh, oh, et tout? Hmm. How weird. Unfortunately, Mr. Sushi isn't available right now. Mm hmm. Ooh. Pourquoi êtes-vous ici? Qu'est-ce qui vous amène ici? Quit talking in that baguette language. You know how much it makes my ears bleed. <laughs> ah, cela me dérangerait pas si cela les faisait, Seigneur. You British are so ignorant in your depressed little island you call home. Well, at least we don't eat snails for a living, Froggy. You act like we eat escargot every damn day, you tea sucker. If you're here, to just insult me and my people, then I believe you have no business here. Go back to that lonely estate of yours in Kensington and... 
Do whatever. Your estate represents your people well. Drunk bastards who think they are posh, but really they are just lonely and sad. Ah, as if that's the case. Your estate represents your people well, too. Rude frogs who drink wine and eat baguettes all day. Also, I find it very funny that you sure love defending France. But you were born in Milan in Italy. <laughs> so what? I was born there, but not raised. Look at Napoleon. He had an Italian accent, but yet he was one of the, one of the greatest leaders France ever had. But anyway, rude. <laughs> sure. But don't forget, you're the one who started this roast beef. Also, I think drinking wine and eating baguettes all day is way better than <clears throat> being lonely and drunk. Now, state of purpose. Fine, fine. Just so I can leave this dreaded place. I originally came here with the intent to speak to your father about signing a deal on wine trade. <laughs> Ironic. You insult us, but yet you still want our wine. Funny, that is. But I do think you have ulterior motives. Ulterior motives? Now, who do you take me for? But now, I'm looking closer at you. I noticed you brought a cute companion with you. So perhaps I can add him to the deal. I will take him off your hands. Ah, pardon. Vous pensez que c'est un air sauté d'esclave que vous pouvez me chater? Vous êtes vraiment fou. Oui, oui, baguette, baguette. Ho, ho, ho. Whatever you said, repeat yourself in English. No, oh, you little... I basically said, your idea is ridiculous, he is not going with you. Ah, but when did you make the decisions here? And I hope you didn't forget my father is ill. Meaning all responsibility of the estate and our overseas ventures are in my hands. Perhaps I can sign a damn wine deal, but leave him out of this. But you see, the wine deal's value would go down for me personally. How can I possibly leave France without taking back a cute pet with me? He is by no means a pet. Is he now? If that's the case... How about you let the little one decide? If you say he is no pet, then I think it is fair to let him choose his own fate. How dare you? How about I... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now, you wouldn't want to do that unless you want me to spill your... No, spill our little secret. No, oh, you wouldn't dare. I would absolutely dare. Now... Human. What's your choice? <laughs> oh, now that's my sweet boy. Mwah. Now, back to you, Sir Green. Did you really expect him to agree to your so-called affair? Not really, but it was worth a shot. I like to try the diplomatic route first before anything drastic. That is diplomacy to you? <laughs> no wonder why French was the diplomatic language for so long. I demand you to leave. That wine deal is annulled, and you are to return back to that rainy island you call home. No. If you so wish, Monsieur Sauvain. But before I go, a little word for you, Sova's pet. Sova is not who you think he is. Farewell. This won't be our last meeting. It's Monsieur, not Monsieur. Monsieur. Oh, get out. That man should have been killed. I... <clears throat> I am so sorry you 
had to be here for that. <laughs> Somehow I expected that this day to go, but uh, don't trust that man with all your life. You can probably smell it in... well, not smell, but you can probably feel it in your heart that he is not to be trusted. No matter how attractive you may see that British idiot. <laughs> Good boy. But I want you to know that you are not a slave or nor a pet to me. <laughs> I'm screwing up my, screwing up my English. <sighs> oh, right. The secret that Mr. Monsieur Green was referring to. Well, <laughs> it's uh, more of a personal matter to me that I don't wish to say right now. But I do promise to you that in due time, I will explain it to you. Don't worry. Like I said, I will tell it to you now. How about you be a good boy and sit down over there while I get tea? Actually, no. Considering my argument with that fiend from the British Isles, I am not in the mood for tea. If you could drink wine or water, then I am more than happy to give you that. So... Just go sit down in there, or over there, I'm still a bit annoyed. But where is Monsieur Suchet? I hope he's just busy. We'll see. Now, I'll meet you over there once I get your drinks. So, farewell for now. Mwah. So that was that audio. Uh, yeah, you got to hear my very cringy French and my very cringy stereotypical French English accent. And I'm so sorry for all the French people. But hey, you, you can't really get mad because I, I insulted, I made fun of, well, not insulted, but I made fun of the British. So you got to at least appreciate that, right? <laughs> I'm going to lose a lot of British subscribers, I know. <laughs> but hey, listen, I... Yeah, n anyway, <laughs> there's no defending myself. So, uh, I won't typically say if you like this video because this was kind of <laughs> insulting. Well, not insulting, like I said, it's just making fun. It's just simple making fun jokes. Ha ha ha, laugh, please. Um, yeah. If you do like this audio, hopefully you do, <laughs> um, please like and subscribe. And with that being said, I hope you all... Have a nice day, and I will see you all in the next audio. Bye-bye!